Whether you like French fries, hot potatoes, mashed potatoes, tater tots, this is one potato filled book you're gonna love. Hi, my name is Julie and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help parents and teachers find the next right book for their eight to 12 year old reader. If videos like these are helpful for you, you can click that subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss future videos. And if you like today's book, give it a thumbs up. That way I know to find more books like this. Now let's talk about today's book. Today's book is called My Life as a Potato by Ariane Costner. And this is a laugh out loud funny book about Ben. Ben thinks he's cursed by potatoes and then he moves to Idaho. So that's probably not going to work out well for him. As Ben is struggling and trying to figure out how to fit in at his new school, he accidentally sprains the ankle of the school mascot, Steve the Spud. Now, bummer news for Ben, his consequence is that he's got to be the mascot for the last few basketball games. Now, he is certain this is going to ruin his quest for popularity, and so he tries to keep it a secret, and he tells his friends lies um, to try to keep his identity as the mascot hidden. Now, usually when we start telling lies, it doesn't work out so well. I'm curious to hear from you, what is your favorite kind of way to eat potatoes? Because this book makes me think of all the types of potatoes. So post in the comments below whether you like tater tots, mashed potatoes, hot potatoes, french fries, a completely different kind of potato. I'm curious to hear your favorite kind of potato. There's a couple fun extra things about the book that I just want to point out. The first one is that there's some really fun illustrations in the story, so be sure to be looking for those. The second is that there's a fun little surprise under the dust jacket, so I'd recommend getting the hardcover of this book so you can see that fun little treat. Now, let's talk about a few readers who I think are really going to like this book. The first kind of reader who I'd recommend this book for are kids who like funny books. There are several just laugh out loud funny scenes and so kids looking for books with a lot of humor are going to enjoy this book. I'd also recommend this book, Teachers and Parents. If you're working on teaching similes and metaphors with your students, there are some fantastic food similes in this book that will really help reinforce that skill. Also, for any kid that's gone to a sporting event and been interested by the mascots and thought, hmm, what does it take to be a mascot? This is just a fun introduction with Steve the Spud as the mascot. And little secret, if you have kids that are thinking they want to be mascots when they grow up, don't discourage it quite so quickly. Do a little Google search and I bet you will be quite surprised at how much money professional mascots make. I know I was when I first found out. Another reader who I think will appreciate this book are kids who are struggling with trying to figure out how they fit in and where they belong. There's a great line in the book that says, in middle school, it's easy to get stuck with a label and nearly impossible to peel it off. And I think a lot of kids at that age are struggling with finding their place and figuring out who their friends are and what they contribute to the school. So I think a lot of kids will relate to Ben and will appreciate his story. Now, if you're looking for a picture book to pair with this book, I have got a recommendation for you. I'd recommend Rot the Cutest in the World or the next book in the series, Rot the Bravest in the World by Ben Clanton. This is another fun potato book that would pair really well with My Life as a Potato. So head out today, pick up your copy of My Life as a Potato, and happy reading!